and there we go and that's zero you gotta watch out for those uh, dusk wielders my dude you gotta watch out for them dusk wielders okay Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight we have a very special treat for you. A very special treat for you. We are taking a look at the rebalanced elves for alchemy. No, okay, just don't turn, don't turn the video off right away. I know you're thinking. Alchemy, ew. Listen, guys, give alchemy a chance. They're trying to inject something new into the system. Right now, standard is pretty locked out at what it is. We know it's really good. Runes is really good, you know? Selesny Enchantments is really good. Naya Runes is really good. Well, we have some new stuff. We have some shakeups. Let's see if it's any good. And with this alchemy event, um, you're going to get uh, at least two free cards here, two free cards here, and four free packs just by playing uh, whatever deck you want. You can even bring a standard deck. But just by playing this event, you'll get a bunch of cards and packs to open up for alchemy. So... Give it a shot, man. Let's take a look at these Golgari Death Elves, man. Um, let's take a look at these Golgari Death Elves. I see you, Goblin Gooner. Don't worry about it, man. We're doing the Shakedown Breakdown. Welcome, Goblin Gooner. Um, so, before we do that, I need to do something for me. Do you know what that is? Tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Or else, well, guys, the like and subscribe will brutally, brutally, brutally maul you. Well, abs I mean, he'll absolutely rip you up um, with his werewolf claws and his light cycle and mecha arm. Uh, you gotta watch out for that. So tenderly push it. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there where you can meet the Goblin Gooner as well. And our Lord of Mana, Stignox, as well. Check out our Discord community um, for all the latest news and information. New Capenna spoilers are already up on our Discord, so check that out. Uh, you can find this deck and all the other ones that I build on my Aether Hub down below. And of course, for the month of April, yes, we are saying hello to Fresh with HelloFresh, our sponsor, uh, this April. If you want to save over $100, get 16 free meals from HelloFresh, plus three free gifts, and a personal uh, code for packs from Kamigawa from me. Check out the link in the pinned comment below for HelloFresh if you ever want to try those lovely meal boxes. Now is the time you can help support the channel. Um, so check that out down below. Now, all that being said, Duskwielder. Now, if you're a longtime viewer of this channel, you know that I think Duskwielder is a solid card to begin with. A 1-2-1 one, one drop Elf Berserker that lets you pay anything to gain and drain when you attack? Solid already, man. Um, my Shadow alone will slay you. He's an honorary vampire, in my opinion. Um, turn 2, coming in with an unblockable gain and drain with decent toughness. He is aggro as hell, man. Um, he's actually might even start me doing like a total black elf deck, um, with a ton of gain and drain. So really, really solid here. If you're sleeping on him, don't be sleeping anymore. Wake up to Duskwielder. Solid early card drop. Despair Sentinel, a little bit of a ramp card there. And also that lovely reach is great for flyers. Uh, and you can tap an untap creature you control to add one mana of any color. Um... Okay, so why is this good? You say, well, we're tapping creatures. Aren't we slowing ourselves down by not attacking? Well, we're going to be generating a lot of creature tokens in this deck, thanks to Elvish Warmaster. We might have a huge untapped resource of mana to tap here. Uh, and some stuff we don't want to attack with and we don't want to block with. We just want to use it as kind of a generative source. Like, we, it, it's just boosting our stuff, so we don't want to lose it by attacking and blocking. So we can always tap that for a little extra mana. And it's also a great 1-2 drop. Again, a lot, of, a lot of toughness coming out on turn 1 that's great for early blockers. Tajuru Blightblade. I love a 1-1 one, one Death Touch because it can stop anything. Um, a 1-1 one, one Death Touch can stop the Tarrasque. Yes, it can. Uh, it'll trample over, but... That death touch, that is deadly. Again, a bit of a deterrent to attacking and blocking. And it's so cheap for us, we don't really care if we lose it. It's a great little assassin card. Now, here's one of the rebalance ones that I think is, is pretty good overall. Stripped of their divinity, the elves of Skemfar channel their rage and sorrow into bloody brutality. Skemfar Avenger, whenever another elf or berserker you control dies, you draw a card and you lose one life. Interesting. 
Okay, interesting. So that's Elf or Berserker, and that used to be, what they changed it from is it used to be non-token. Now, even when token ones die, you lose a card, uh, you lose a life and you draw a card. Why would we want to lose life to draw a card? Well, we want card advantage, and we're going to be gaining life uh, with this deck, mm, it, 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 potentially. Um, I don't really care if I have to burn myself down as long as they go down with me. And I think this lady uh, agrees with me. Elvish Warmaster, probably one of the most solid cards uh, out of green. That doesn't see a lot of play because it's so specific. But as far as Elf Commanders, um, uh, whenever one or more Elf creatures enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 green Elf token. This ability only triggers once each turn. And then you can play two green Elves, get plus two, plus two, and gain Teth Touch until the end of turn oh somebody just pointed up the Tresque has haste and ward 10 so apparently it does not have trample that's a terrible oof they really messed up the design of the Tresque. anyways um so seven gives everybody a boost up and gives a death touch so that's kind of why we want to generate all that mana because that's a great mana sink to put a ton 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 of mana into and just make everybody death touching swinging in tons of power tons of damage and being very deadly and then of course if you have Scamfar, whatever they kill is going to let you draw um uh is going to let you draw cards which is potentially more elves it keeps the cycle going poison the cup i think is a pretty solid choice right here um destroy target creature if this spell was foretold scry two i do like the scrying ability we are going to need to scry a little bit just to make sure we have a steady flow of mana and or cards that we need uh a nice little instant removal there it fits with the this is a lot of keldheim stuff uh so it fits kind of with the keldheim theme but any kind of instant removal i think is fairly solid here but i do like poison the cup here boreal outriders another one of those that i feel like people sleep on um uh 3-2 Elf Warrior, and it's a snow creature. Whenever you cast a creature spell, if any of if snow was spent for any of the spells colors cast, that creature enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter on it. It's just a free way to get snow creature, to get 1-1 one, one counters on the board for everything coming in. We do have snow mana, and you only need one. It's not like for every one snow you spent. As long as you've spent one mana of snow to cast the creature, they get a 1-1 one, one counter coming in. It's an active ability. It's really, really solid. Um, really, really solid. I think Bora Outrider is another one people are sleeping on. Canopy Tactician, the Commander. This is another one they changed. It used to be a 3-3. It's a 3-4 now. Is that a big change? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think it's a big enough change to make it that good. I Oftentimes, I only run three of her because she's so expensive. We can add three, and other elves you control get 1-1. One, one. She is a good captain, um, a good lord elf. Um... But maybe if you don't have the wilds, maybe only run three of her. Um, because I just feel like that late in the game, she's so prone to uh, removal and stuff like that. So I'm always kind of hesitant on her. Now, Herald Unites the Elves. I feel like this one did improve as well. Um, a mill five cards. It used to be mill three cards. Uh, you may put a Elf or Tyvar card from your graveyard onto the battlefield. Really, really useful because Elvish Warmaster, it says, enters the battlefield, not when you cast it. So you'll get that trigger anyways. Uh, so it will get you a free Elf out onto the board, which could be something big like a Canopy Tactician or something like that, or a Boreal Outrider. Uh, and then, in the late game, in the middle to late game, putting a 1-1 counter on each Elf you control is really brutal and then when you're swinging in for the ultimate whenever an elf you control attacks this turn target creature gets an opponent controls get negative one negative one to the other turn you can absolutely massacre people um going in and negging out all of their creatures if you have a big swarm of lots and lots of elves going in you can absolutely overpower them and ride over the line so they did improve that now you may be wondering do you have a tyvar kel no i don't um i also don't have a harald um, I don't have a Tyvar and I don't have a Herald. I just felt like even with the improvements, they weren't as useful as I thought they would. So if you're wondering, hey Jay, why don't you have Tyvar? Why don't you have Herald? Um, there's a few rebalance cards that I just wasn't thrilled about. I've played a lot of different, um, I played a lot of different ways with this deck. Um, if you look at the rebalanced, what are we missing here from Elf? Um, if you want to take a look, Return Upon the Tide, yeah, some of that stuff is good. Because uh, I know I'm already going to get comments, I hear people typing. Uh, uh, is only good in really specific circumstances. It's Elder Leaf I never thought was any good. Um, Tyver Kell, he's just okay. And Harold is just okay. I, I, just, I just feel like they don't really belong. 
um, in this one. Then, surprisingly, I'm going to put in Meat Hook here. Meat Hook Massacre enters the battlefield. Each creature gets negative X, negative X in the end of turn. Why? This is a win state for us. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent control dies, we, uh, we gain a life. If I have a wide enough board, which I could pot potentially have dozens even, uh, five, six, seven uh, tokens on the board, creatures, low, uh, low toughness creatures, you can meat hook your entire board, sacrifice them to the meat hook massacre. You could swing in, attack, do damage, and if they only have a little bit of life left, hit the meat hook massacre, and then they die. Because you've killed so many of your own creatures that they've lost so much life that they die immediately. Um, that's a fun combo. That's a fun trick. Um, that's kind of why I'm putting meat hook in there, is to just kind of meat hook myself and win the game i think that's why i've actually done that successfully a few times it's a fun little win state it really goes into the death elves idea that these are suicidal death elves um so really cool trick that you can do again if we fill up the board with one one counters or whatever and we swing in and they're like okay well i'm at eight life well guess what i just killed all eight of my creatures meat hook just went off uh, you're gonna immediately lose a life and you're gonna lose the game. Boom, no problems there. One Hive of the Eye Tyrant, six Snow Covered Swamps, one Ta Takanuma Abandoned Mire, two Bosejo Who Endures, one Layer of the Hydra, six Snow Covered Forests, two Dark Boar Pathways, two Death Cap, Cap Glaives. Would you care to put in some uh, snow lands that are double? Sure, but they come in tapped and we wanna move fast. So, in case you're wondering, Jay, why don't you put the snow lands in there that. Uh, that are, uh, are are double double land color. Uh, it's because they come in tapped, and we want to move quickly. Woodland chasm, sure. If you want to, man, hey man, uh, yeah, go for it. I'm not mad at you. Again, um, oh look at this new screen here. This is an alchemy deck. Um, nothing in here is an alchemy card. I'm just trying the rebalance. You can 100% play this in standard. Just with non the alch with the non alchemy versions of these, I'm just testing what they modified out. There's no actual alchemy cards in this, by the way. I think it's important to point that out. Um, 28 creatures, creature heavy deck, a little bit more green than uh, black. 2.2 average, 28 creatures total, 28 elves, four instant, five enchantments, 23 lands total. I flood out way too much, but I was drowning before, so you may want to adjust the mana. I really just kind of wanted to test out the rebalance again. You could run this in standard and just uh, and just run the clock out with, uh, I mean, and you could run in standard and just use the unrebalanced stuff. Um, so keep an eye out for that. In case you want to run in standard, just do the just do the unrebalanced cards. Um, let's take out the snow here. And uh, one, two, three, and four. We only have six cards in four. We're really living at one, two, and a little bit at three. But really one and two is for the generation of the elf tokens that we want and really pushing it on there. No sideboard. We really don't need to swap anything out. This is kind of what I like for Death Elves. Just to kind of have fun and experiment. I um, I think that I'll probably make some improvements with this in, in there. But I kind of just wanted to have fun with it. Uh, tell me how you do with it. Leave a comment. What do you think? How could it be improved? How could it be stretched, challenged, changed? How would you run it? I'd love to see your build as well. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into ranked. All right. Uh, I don't have a Twitch trailer. Um... Skemfor Shadow Mage, I might have to add Skemfor Shadow Mage into it. This is what keeps happening. This is what's been happening all night is this mana situation. Um, all right. I go first against Valve Helsing 671. Um, my problem is Apex is I can keep getting killed out before I can even get that. Uh, as I absolutely just get decimated before I can even get that out. Um, I can't even get right before I'm even there, so that's my main issue. Uh, keep six, let's toss that, boof. Uh, let's do Dusk Wielder, boof, like that. Like, everyone is stocking so much removal that a creature heavy deck just isn't worth it, honestly. Uh, okay, well, it's Elvish Warmaster, do that. Uh, swing in and then of course I'm gonna manage route. I'm gonna have to run it on two wheels even though I'm running a 22 CMC deck with 23 mana which is over um, The average he's gonna foretell that which of course is going to be do you know what that is? That is a doom scar 
Um, so we're just going to hold off here. Because he's going to turn three Doom Scar me. He thinks I'm going to play some cards here. I'm not. I'm just going to get the hits and get out of there. Because he's going to be running uh, Control. Um, oh, he didn't do it. Okay. Um, that is a Scarecrow. Cold beer, a dirt road. I think he's waiting for Hinata. I think he's waiting for Hinata. There it is. I'm not gonna play more. I mean, if you're gonna do that, dude, I'm not gonna play more cards on you. I'm not gonna play into the. I'm not gonna play into destruction. I mean, you might have another. You might have another banger right now. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I sing constantly, and some people want me to stop. So you gotta spend channel points to make me stop. Because um, people get mad when I'm singing, because I sing constantly. That is a scarecrow. It's a fucking scarecrow again. Uh, Alright, let's see here. Skemfar. Skemfar, at least, if he kills everything, I'm gonna be able to draw a bunch of cards. Um, do that, hit the drain. Okay. Yeah, if he hits Skemfar, I'll be able to draw a bajillion cards, which is nice. Um. There it is again, that funny feeling. When I get that feeling, I want sexual heat. Oh, wait, no, I shouldn't sing that song. This dude really didn't hit Hinata, huh? Ugh. He really did not hit Hinata at all. He and he really wanted to. I the only reason I can think of that you're running Jess guy. Is so you can pop Hinata. Div. I don't think that's gonna help, my dude. If I get a mana, I'm gonna win. Um, nope, I didn't get a mana. Let's put down scam farm. This game doesn't like giving me a smooth mana draw. It likes to, it just really likes to stick it in the side, you know, and twist the knife. There's the farewell. Put on that guy. Put on that guy. Three damage. Very nice. There's the Hinata. Okay, he finally got him. He got him, boys. Everybody rest easy. He got him. Environmental Sciences. 
I don't know if that was the right choice, my dude. Well, you're going to have three mana to play. You're going to have three mana to play. You got any removal. Yeah, Chief wanted me to call and he wanted me to let you know that that ain't one it. Digestive biscuit. Oh, uh, drank. All right, let's keep it going with death elves. That that actually functioned the way it's supposed to. So, hazmat absolutely going crazy on the eat drink. That's the boof right there. Elves are getting support in new You know, that's odd. I wouldn't think that elves would get support in new Capenna, but there you go. Use code for, um, you get 16 free meals and 3 free desserts uh, at HelloFresh. Um, so if you're ever interested in the meal box HelloFresh, uh, it's about $100 worth of meals, to be perfectly honest with you. That's how much meal it is. Um, it's a lot. It's a lot of bazoongas. Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of strombolis. Um, yeah, yeah, HelloFresh, you know, they do a lot of people. Um, but, uh, you know, it's probably only about, for the cheapest plans, probably only about 20, 30 bucks to sign up. Um, which isn't bad. And, uh, it saves a lot of money in case you're trying it. Personally, the reason I like it uh, is because I hate having to go to the store for one thing. That's the one thing that drives me nuts is I want to eat tacos or something like that. And I realize that, oh, I need one onion. And I go to the store for one onion because I don't have that one ingredient. Um, that's honestly the best reason I like it. Because um, they don't forget things because they're a company. Me, I'm just one person, and I forget stuff all the time. But yeah, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good, uh, it's a pretty good company. If you're interested in signing up, I also give you free pack codes. If you're interested, I personally have a bunch of pre-release pack codes that I will give out to anybody interested in signing up for HelloFresh. If you ever wanted to try it, uh, you will personally get some pack codes from me. Uh, I myself. Let's do Boreal Outrider. Fading Hope. How did that help? Dudes with Fading Hope just so happy that, just so happy that 
they can play Fading Hope, man. They don't even know why they're playing it. They're just like, I gotta play, I have it, I gotta play it. I, I, oh my god. Oh, because he just want, he just wants to bounce, uh, he just wants to bounce my canopy guy. <laughs> there you go, man. I can call myself a professional rapper now. Because, uh... Because you said, oh yeah, I'm gonna buy it because of, uh... Because you spit bars. So, see? I made money off spitting bars, therefore... I'm a professional. I'm a professional rapper. That's what it means. It's 100% what it means. Shut up. Technically, that video was monetized, and I made about $5 off of it, so... If we're being technical here, bro, if we're being technical, I am technically a professional rap artist, okay? All right. I have been paid for making rap music. All right, so I want to toot my own horn here or anything like that, but that is that is something that has happened, all right? You know, do I have a thousand streams on Spotify? No. You know, but, you know, rap artists are, are different. E each one is a unique experience. I've been called the voice of my generation. Yes, I mean, there's no getting around that. Um, rap groupies. My audience is like 99.5% male, so I think that's the last thing she's worried about. You're in a JVL video. Zareth the Trickster. Ooh. That's a nice flash in right there. Oof. Who are you going to take out? Elvish Warmaster? There you go. Kotose the Silent Spider. Hmm. Hey, Zodium. Oh, yeah, you know what I mean, man. Girls see me pull out a magic card deck, and they're just like immediate panty soaker. I, I know it's I know it's happened to a lot of us. See, I got a few content creators here. They see a magic card deck. They see those sleeves come out, and it's just like, it's Soak City. You know what I mean? Uh... <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> so what do you do for a living i'm a professionally play magic cards and then that's it it's just it's just it's niagara falls you know what i mean No, 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 not magic tricks, magic, magic cards. Yeah, no, it's, that's different. Like I said, man, walk in, turns cold, lights flicker, call that haunted. Super shuffler here, man. Yeah, really getting shuffled good here. Of 
Kotose the Silent Spider. Oh, no blocks. I'll just let him ninja me here. That's probably one of the weirdest compliments I got from a girl. I was cracking jokes or doing something. And some girl said to me, and this was in high school, by the way. This wasn't, like, recently in my 30s. I was, like, probably 15. Some girl goes to me, oh, Jay, you'd be a great dad. And I was like, what? March of Wretched Sorrow. Uh, I really do would be dirty here, boys. Uh, I was just goofing off in class, and this girl's like, you'd make a great dad, Jay, and I'm like, oh, wow. I don't know how I feel about that. I wasn't really expecting to hear that, like, maybe for another 20 years or 15 years, maybe, but here it is. It's already here. So, uh, let's just figure out a way to process it. I mean, I was wearing a sweater vest and smoking a pipe. To be fair, I mean, to be fair. All things being equal. Well, I really needed a meat hook there, and I didn't get one. Really needed a meat hook there. Hey, Grimey made his third stream, Poggers. Third stream, Poggers. Poggers, throw back a bottle of beer. Yeah, that was Zoot Suit Riot, as interpreted by me. What's up, Grimey? Ill Willow 333. That's a cool name. Are there any red clerics worth playing, my dude? I don't know any uh, red clerics that are would enhance that. Oh, I did that already. I already did that, bro. I did that way back. Yeah. Yeah, with uh, uh, it was a, it was like a Mardu Resurrection deck. Yeah, I did that. There, there's rarely, there's rarely a combo that I haven't already probably done. <laughs> hey, Country Fried, thank you for coming by, man. Uh, let's hit the scam far out here. I would not use a scythe in a zombie apocalypse. Um, they're they're kind of wieldy and ineffective. You're better off using a machete um, or an axe. Scythes look good, but they're used for harvesting wheat, which are little stalks. Uh, you know, I don't think they're really set up for. Uh, I don't really think they're set up for, you know. Stick! Deathless, Mardu Clerics.
Oh yeah, I did that a while ago. Meat Hook Massacre, naturally, for one. Let's put down Canopy Tech. Swing in for two. Let me reply to Grimies here. There you go, Grimies. Very nice. Create a flying black zombo. So, Stig, I missed y'all last night. I called my, uh, I said. I said, excuse me, I said, uh, mana, mana, what, what did I call him? I see we have switch decks, what deck is this? This is the, um, this is the mono black, um, I mean mono black, this is the Golgari elves. The new elves. Could I auto pay three? Decline. I'm not going to play auto pay three. Green elves and Capenna. Green elves and Capenna is going to be interesting. goes for it man he's probably got another uh he's probably got another why does it keep trying to i guess they're gonna release a new praetor every set the thing is we're going back in time though man so it's like how do we go back in time? You know? Divide by zero. Okay, it still triggers, my dude. Like, Dominaria, I could see another one, but then we're doing Brothers War. So it's like, uh... What's the plan here? Brothers Wars back in time, so we have Vorinclex, we have Niv Mizzet, no, not Niv Mizzet, Jin Jinjitaxis, we have the red guy, we're gonna have to see the Grand Cenobite, and then that other lady, or whatever, whatever that crazy one is. Maestro's is Grixis, I think so, yeah. I think they're Grixis boys. And Ill Willow is out of there. Thank you, Ill Willow, for just playing removal and counter spells and doing nothing else. Really a useful... Um, yeah, Brothers War should not have Praetors. There's not even Phyrexians in Brothers War. Not while well, they're just starting. Um, 
we might have some proto Phyrexians. I think Yogmoth is still a fucking human. Like, he's still like a physician. He should be still a human being physician. Uh, from, uh... What crazy plane was he from? Um... All right, let's keep it going. All right, let's put out... I love this new arena, by the way. Let's put out a Dusk Wielder. You run Embercleave in that, Tanooks? Falcon Wreath Pit Fighter. No. Goma Fata, interesting. What do you what would you say is the best defense against Embercleave? What would you say is the most useful defense against Embercleave? Yeah, it can be. Yeah, it, you, it's a good finisher, but sometimes you can it can uh, it can mess you up occasionally. Counterspell. Charger. Saw it coming. If you're playing Historic, I think Settle the Wreckage. That is, I think that is the bane of Embercleave's existence. If you're running if you're running White Control, Settle the Wreckage is horrible. I lost so many freaking games to Settle the Wreckage. Yeah. Tell this light blade. Okay, it was snow. <laughs> Never swing with four mana up. Yeah, that's the trick. They got four mana up. Don't don't go for it, man. We got a deep philosophical debate about the structure of magic going on here. Uh -oh. Lizard blades, okay. Scavenge blade, who are you going to put it on? Fire blade? Hmm. He's going to swing in with the three there. Don't want him to explode too much stuff there. scavenger gotta get rid of him let's grab a death cap glade let's throw that Marie death cap glade for cutie that's what I call those death cap death cap glade for cutie
Sounds the only one we can put out. All right, that's fine there. Let's do that. Um, let's put that, that. Hey, listen, guys, you're at an impasse, okay? That's, you're at an impasse. You guys have two different. You guys have two different opinions. Um, there's nothing wrong with having two different opinions. I know nowadays it's frowned upon, but uh, uh, I hope he. I hope he runs at me with everything. Oh my God, that'd be awesome. Okay, so without trample, dude, these don't really do very much. Yeah, one on elf, every elf we have. Let's do that. Let's do that. And of course, we're going to go swing. go and that's zero gotta watch out for those uh dusk wielders my dude you gotta watch out for them dusk wielders okay can we just all agree okay i think let, let, let's find common ground here mono white is busted mono white exile is busted and it always will be busted. And always the best deck in the game will be Mono White. The end. <clears throat> All right, boys. Let's see if we can get a little bit of a uh, little bit of action here. Didn't really go off last night. We were kind of kind of dialing it in. Hmm. Not too bad. You know, for a cheap deck, I keep having mana issues with this one. So we might have to revisit that. Let's put that down. Let me do. Uh, let me do Scam Far. Even this life loss on Scam Far, I'm not worried about it because generally it gives you the ability to draw cards which isn't which isn't not bad at all fire's kiss interesting ah oh, dusk wielder let's do dusk wielder i know it hurts me but that's why i want to put um meat hook in it so maybe we can if we have them both out we can counteract some of it Okay. Going a little wide there, buddy. Okay. He might try to hook me here. Be a good drain. Okay, well, we can pop him. We can pop him. 
pop him. That's not an issue. Death Cap Blade. Okay. Yeah, we can't let those guys out. Uh, we need a black card. Canopy Tactician. We already have one of those. Okay. My opponent dies. He's going to hit me with that. Oof. Let's push in. Let's hit the gain and drain to counteract that ability right there. Oof. Okay. Castle Dracula. I think that's a uh, okay, city stalker connoisseur. All right. Uh, d -d 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 discard with great is value to Burkell because if we play Harold, we can re return him. So they're all deadly to City Stalker. <clears throat> so I'm going to lose a life. I'm going to draw that extra card. He is going to hit the gain and drain on me, but that's not too bad. Okay. Bar's Kiss. It's got a lot of blood tokens there. A lot, a lot of blood tokens. You can cycle through quite a few of them. Foundry Forebearer. Sacrifice two blood tokens, return it to the graveyard, to the thingy. Can't block, though. What's the fun? Okay, whatever, attack target creature. So we can kill Blood Artist next turn. So we can lose Blood Artist there. Buff, buff. Down to two. He's going to be at three. Yeah, okay. He can do eight damage to me. Uh, he can do three and two. I got those flying issues, which is why it's good to have Elven Longbow. Um, it's why it's nice to have Elven Longbow to deal with these uh, to deal with these flyers. Not a bad choice. Sometimes discard, lose. Even Glennis guess I, I, he can't use it as a blocker because I poison the cup. So yeah, 
Falconry Forebear, that's that's probably the, my biggest problem with her. It's a nice, it's a nice resurrecting card, a 3-1 flyer. Creates blood tokens, but that can't block. Man, half of what's useful about flyers is that they can block. Um, so. so I don't think he can prevent everything that he needs to prevent here. Boof. Okay, my turn. Dusk Wielder. Yep, so that's his problem right there. Is we are going to kill Gluttonous Guest. He's going to create a blood token. And then we are going to do the old swing in. Negative one. And then he's out of there. <clears throat> yeah, so Death Elves take it against vampires. Pretty good. Pretty good. Good display of what's positive about this deck. Last one. All right, boys. So my favorite thing about Nuka Penna so far is that I was wondering how they're going to do guns. Because if you're doing gangsters, you got to have guns. Um, and how they're doing guns is that everyone just points their fingers like they're playing cops and robbers in, in elementary school. And they go bang, 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 bang. And that, honestly, is the best possible solution that they could have come up with. That is that is so freaking, that is the best thing ever. That everyone just goes bang, 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 and points their fingers at each other. That people just act like they're holding a Tommy gun and go bang, 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 bang. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Discard a card, Boreal Outrider. Submit. Uh, submit. Like, I realize they're fire mages and they're throwing spells at each other. But that the, the fact that they're basically imitating what you would do if you were trying to basically get a, uh, like, fake doing a gun, like, imitate a gun, it's just so funny, man. It's just too good. It's too good, man. That might be a meat hook, so let's hold off. Boof, boof, boof. That that might be a Doom Scarf. He has the white mana. Oh, it's a Skull Raid. And he's out of there. Lucidity is out of there. Okay. All right. Crawling a little bit back there. Real bad luck tonight, boys. Really, really, really terrible luck tonight. Um, But I think uh, our elves, I think solid elves probably aren't as competitive, but I think mixing them in. Uh, out of all of it, I think that probably you could run some interesting stuff here. I kind of just built this to kind of take a look, take a top-down view at all the stuff. Um, um, and uh, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting to see what how that changes anything. Canopy being a little stronger doesn't change too much. Herald doesn't change too much. Skemfar is actually probably one of the biggest, most useful ones, especially if you're running it with Elvish Warmaster, but... Um, all in all, interesting, interesting changes. I like that alchemy tries to try new things. Um, uh, and, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it right there, guys. Uh, until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been...